I want to set up a salt water mixing station so I can just mix my water here. So I built a stand here. It's two foot by four foot. Made enough clearance underneath to store the tubs. I will be hauling it into the house. And then I'll put some spouts here. It'll go down and I can fill them up. So there's some storage there. Got it yellow for salt water, white for the clear RODI uh, power outlet there. I'm going to mount the RODI station here. And I just put a little sh shelf up there uh, so I can store salt or whatever else is needed. Okay, so the first thing I did, these are 22 gallon uh, brute trash cans. Uh, I'm hoping the white and the yellow will be okay. I've read since I bought them that I should have went with gray for uh, phosphates, but I'll let you know how that turns out. But I bought some Uniseals. This is a three quarter inch. So I have an inch and a quarter hole drill. Drill them in here, just slip those in there at the bottom. I'll be putting one more in the side, probably right in here somewhere. I don't know if that fit, there's a ridge in there. But uh, I'll find a spot for that and we'll drill that in, and that'll be where the pump return will go. Switch the tanks around just to get the RODI on the left. I don't know, just for me, it's a mental thing, the processing from left to right. I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole here, right above the handle. Looks like there's enough room. I put the Uniseal up there. Make sure there's no burrs. And we'll put this in. Just make sure this fits okay. Pipe will come out there so it looks like it'll clear. I got the Uniseal in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and install a float valve on the clear water tank. Um, Rather than put it directly under here, I'm going to put it to the back a little bit. So we need a half inch drill. We're going to drill that. Okay, we're going to get a little bit low. Okay, again, I'll get these burrs off. put this on the inside there's a gasket on here that goes on the inside as well float valve goes down so when it lifts it closes so just come through like that and come with a little plastic nut we'll put that on here Snug that up. Now that we have the seals on, we want to put these in. So what we're going to do is measure from the center of the tank out. I'm going to add an extra two inches. So that's about 12 inches. So I'm going to cut two of these at 12 inches, stick them in there, and glue on a 45 degree angle on each side. And it'll help keep it in and helps uh, when you pump the water, it can be directed down to get some of the, the lower step on since this is a higher than the bottom. Okay, cut two of these 12 inches, one for each tank. I hear these pretty tight, so let me see if I can get them in. Okay. 
very tight. I'm turn this on my side and get this through. Okay, there's one. These are friction fit. So the tube uh, pushes the rubber up against the side of this and it makes a seal. Okay, we're gonna do the next one. It helps if you rotate it a little bit. Just get started. Once it gets in there, it slides right down. Okay, put some glue on the end of this. Slide it on the end of the pipe here. I'm gonna block the camera just for one second. There. And that can be rotated down. So it's pointed toward the bottom, so I'll suck stuff off the bottom. You can see the float valve here. I have this turned on its side. So and I'm gonna do the same thing on the salt water one. Again, I'm gonna block this for one second. Okay, and then turn it down. Okay. Okay, I got another 12 inch section here. I'm gonna put into this seal. This is going to be where the salt water returns back. Okay. Through. This one you don't want to bring all the way to the two inch mark, probably about halfway. that then we can measure it later to see so it aligns with the uh, pump okay we're gonna put another 45 on here I'm gonna put this one sideways so that it'll kind of do a circular motion in there so I got glue on there all this piping is three-quarter inch all this PVC this one I'm gonna kind of turn down at an angle as well but it's adjustable later so it can be rotated. Just want to show you that this was a concern of mine that putting this right where the handle goes that it might conflict with this. You can see it doesn't. If it's on there snug it can be removed easily. Okay, I'm going to put a T on here. Right. Goop that up, put it on there facing the inside, and then we're going to put another extension on here, and then a valve, and then the downspout. So, this is about two and a half inches. I'm going to put some goop on that one. PVC cement, give it the clear kind so it doesn't look real bad. Okay, do that to both sides. I bought these red flag valves a little less expensive I heard they're pretty good um, it's not a lot of pressure on these everything's gravity so it's not a big deal they do come with both a threaded attachment as well as a slip-on so what we're gonna do is just glue this on here I'm not good okay and then these actually have an arrow, show you which way it goes. So this is actually going to be a drain into there. So we'll put it in there. I'm going to tighten it up later, but right now. So um, this says it's on, so it goes all the way through, and then you have off. Okay, do that to both sides. Small section piece here. Stick that in there. And into here. And again, we'll tighten these up more later. And then we'll put another piece here if you need it. Probably don't even need it. We'll just bring out the buckets to fill the buckets here like this. 
I have a uh, Pan World pump here. It's a 30X. Uh, from everything I've read, it should be adequate for the quantity that I'm doing. We're, we're only doing 22 gallons maximum at a time. Uh, it's three quarter inch inlet and outlet. So it should work fine with the piping here. Um, I also bought a grounded power switch. It's an outlet that's a plug into the outlet and has an on off switch here so I can turn it off from the switch. Uh, I notice these look a little flimsy, so I'm gonna may have to support these. I'm gonna wait until after I get the connection, the rest of the piping on, because it may help support it. Probably not, because it's pretty close to the base, but I'm gonna wait anyway. I'm gonna mount this in here, in the back, so that it'll go up and into here, and then out here to the T, and to each of these. I picked up these adapters for the pump at Home Depot. They're three quarter inch. One side is, side is threaded, so you can screw onto here. The other side is smooth, so these can go in there. So we'll go ahead and uh, wrap the pump with uh, plumbing thread. Or whatever this desk called. Screw these on. Do the same to the other one. Once you have the uh, pipe thread tape put on, uh, you can put the other piece on. Um, we're going to go ahead and connect this piece here first so we can make sure it aligns correctly with the down spout here. Uh, remember, we're going to put a valve in here in line as well. Probably isn't needed to have a valve, but it'd be good if you don't put a valve here to put a union in. Uh, that way you can remove it from the pump if you need to. Um, so a union would be just this without the, the valve piece. And so that way these can be screwed off. And we'll put that in there. But I'm going to go ahead and put the valve in. Uh, not sure if that's needed, but I have the valve, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we're just going to connect it here and down to there. So we're going to go ahead and goop this one up. It was sitting on there in the previous scene, but we'll put that on there, point it down, and then put a shorter extension here. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put the valve on. Again, looking at the direction of flow, this is going to be coming down. Let's see, it's going to be coming up. It's going to be pumping up through there. Uh, so we want it to be pointing up. Okay. So go ahead and put some glue on there. Slide that on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and screw the valve on. and align the pump. Go ahead and cut a piece of PVC to size and get that on there, okay? I'm not gonna do it all on camera. You kind of get the idea. Um, this bottom piece comes off. So we wanna be able to keep this loose so we can screw it on and uh, get some uh, flexibility in there so it's not too rigid. Now we have the other pipe, the vertical, connected. Go ahead and connect this so we can align where to put the T. So we get a little cement. Here, the arrow going this way, this is going to come out, go up and around. Okay, we're going to put another piece of PVC here and align it with the T. Just cut those to size, cut that one to size, and then we can connect this side. Again, I'm not going to do it all on camera, but I'm kind of just giving the idea of the process for doing that. And then we'll decide if we need to support these after that's in place.
got this connected. We're going to connect the last couple pieces here. I'm going to put a straight piece on first. Goop up both sides of this. On there. And again, the arrow is pointing this way because this is the clear water, so it's going to come down through here and pump into the salt water tank when needed. Um, or you can bypass straight out if we're just using uh, using it for the top off water. Okay, so that should be it with the PVC. So we'll connect the uh, RODI system next. Um, these are pretty sturdy, but I probably, I'll probably just put a shim underneath uh, just to support this a little bit so it doesn't put a lot of stress on this joint.